Levels adjustment. Levels adjustment. Levels overview. By the way, you can use the levels adjustment to correct the tonal range and color balance of an image by adjusting uh, intensity, levels of uh, image shadows and midtones and highlights. And the levels histogram is a visual guide for adjusting the image key tones, by the way. And for more information on how to read a histogram, see view histograms and pixel values. And you can see levels setting uh, as a research and then apply them to other images. And you have to also to see save adjustment setting and reapply adjustment setting again. And in this screenshot now, we have adjustment and masks. If you would like to adjusting levels, we have A and P and C and D in this image. And I would like to explain everything now. A is meaning shadow and B is meaning mid-tones and C is meaning highlights and D is meaning output levels a slider in the left image. And improving tonal quality with levels and adjust tonal range using levels. Adjust tonal range using levels. The outer to input levels slider map, by the way, is a black point and white point to the setting of the output sliders by default and the output sliders are at level 0. And where the pixels are black and level 255 and where the pixels are white with the output sliders in the, out in the default positions. Moving the black input slider maps the pixel value to level 0 and then moving the white point slider maps to the, the pixel value to level 255 <coughs> and the remaining levels are redistributed between level 0 and level 255 and this redistribution increases the tonal range of the image by the way and in effect increasing increasing the overall contrast of an image not and be careful when shadows are clipped the pixels are black and with no detail when highlights are clipped, the pixels are white with no detail again. And the middle input slider adjusts the gamma in the image. It moves that it, it moves the mid, mid tone level 128 and changes the intensity values of the middle range of gray tones without dramatically altering the highlights and shadows. And we have steps. You should to click the levels icon in the adjustment panel or choose levels from the panel menu after that choose layer and choose new adjustment layer and choose levels and then click ok in the new layer dialog box and do not and be careful when choosing choosing image then choosing adjustment and choosing levels mask direct adjustment to the image layer and discard this image information step number two optional to adjust tunes for a specific cover channel choose an option from the channel bo uh, menu sorry number three step number three optional again to edit a combination of color channels at the same time shift to select and the, the channels in the channels panel before choosing the image and adjust and then choose adjustments then choose levels command this meso by the way doesn't work in a level adjustment layer and the channel menu then displays the appreciation for the target channels for example cm for cn and magneta uh, and the magenta and the magenta and the menu also contains the individual uh, channels for the selected combination and it is both uh, channels and alpha channels individually uh, step number four to adjust the shadows and highlights manually drag the black and white input levels sliders to the edge of the first group of pixels at either end of the histogram for example, if you move the black point slider to the right at level 5, Photoshop by the way maps all the pixels at level 5 and lower to level 0. Similarly, if you move the white point slider to the left at level 243, Photoshop by the way maps all pixels at level 243 and higher to level 255. And the mapping effect is the darkest and highlights pixels in each channel by the way, and the corresponding pixels in the other channels are adjusted proportionality to avoid altering the color balance. Not here now and be careful in this screenshot. You can also enter values directly into the first and third input levels text boxes. Like this screenshot now. Uh, adjusting black and white points with levels input sliders. Step number five. Optional again. To identify areas in the image that are being clipped. 
completely black or completely white. Do one of the following. Hold down. Hold down. Alt if you use Windows or Option if you use Mac OS. As you drag the black point and white point titles. And then choose Show Clipping for Black or White. Points for the panel menu. Step number 6. To adjust metals, use the middle input slider to make a gamma adjustment. And moving, you should moving the middle Im input slider to the left makes the overall image lighter. And this slider, by the way, adjustment maps a lower darker and level up to the midpoint level between the output sliders. And if the output sliders are in their default position, 0 and 255, the midpoint, by the way, is level 128. And in this example, the shadows expand to fill the tonal range from 0 to 128 and the highlights are compressed and moving the middle input slider to the right has the opposite effect making the image darker by the way and do not and be careful you can also enter a gamma adjustment value directly in the middle input levels box and you can and, and you can also view the adjusted histogram in the histogram panel Adjust color using levels. Adjust color using levels. We have steps. Step number one. In the adjustment panel, click the levels icon or choose levels from the panel menu. And step number two. In the properties panel, do one of the following to naturalize a color cast. You should to click the eyedropper tool to set the gray point and then click in a part of the image that is natural gray. And after that, click auto to apply the default automatic levels adjustment. To experiment with other auto automatic adjustment options, choose auto options from the properties panel menu, then change algorithms in the auto color corrections options delete box. In general, assign equal color components values to achieve a natural gray. For example, assign equal red or green and blue values to produce a natural gray in an RGB image. And how to add contrast to a photo with levels. <coughs> How to add contrast to a photo with levels? By the way, if image needed needs overall contrast because it doesn't use the full tonal range, you should click levels icon in the adjustment panel and then drag the shadows and highlight input sliders in word until they touch and ends of the histogram. Like a screenshot now, AMP and image layer doesn't extend to the ends of the graphs graph and indicating that the image is not using the full tonal range and AS meaning shadow input slider and BS meaning highlight input slider.